So, I haven't done this um, segment in a while, but I thought it would be kind of fun, uh, especially talk about these two characters and what would they think of one another. And this is basically in these segments of what would they think. Uh, it's basically two characters instead of fight. What would they think of one another if they cross paths? And, uh, paths, why did I say pass? Um, and yeah, as you can see from the title, what would Korra think of Star Butterfly from Star vs. the Force of Evil? So, if these two characters ever met, this would probably be one of the most hilarious things ever. Because I would love to see, you know, Star, Star and Marco can go anywhere in, in anywhere because of the dimensional scissors. So they cut a hole, end up in Republic City, and meet Korra. Which I think would be hilarious, because Korra, you know, this Korra is now, you know, I would put it after, you know, season four, and, excuse me, book four, and with that, Korra is now, you know, she, you know, she's more wiser, she's become, you know, a more realized avatar, and, you know, the, <laughs> she'd still have fun, but, you know, she's more, you know, she's more of a sure, she's more of a sure of herself, she's more sure of herself. And Star would just be this out of control young girl, and uh, Korra would just be like, <laughs> "You're wild, but I like you, <laughs> man." Especially, I would love to see you know Korra and her talk of you know, uh, especially Star seeing Korra in action. I would love to see uh, Korra, you know, her, Star's like, expression on her face when she sees Korra using all the elements and being like, "I want to be you when I grow up." <laughs> And star and of course uh, Korra being like, oh, is it, what's with the little magic wand? Are you a pixie or something? No, magical pr a princess from another dimension. Okay, that's a new one. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point Korra would be like, you know what? I've been to the spirit world. I've, I've been, you know, attacked by a flying man and poisoned, and I fought a giant mech suit. I'm at peace with this. <laughs> she would just be totally, up, you know, she wouldn't be above it all. She would just be like, huh? Did you look at that? <laughs> but no, I think it would be a lot of fun to see Korra and Star just kind of interact because their personalities at this point would be so different. But I think Korra would love to have fun with um, with Star. I would think that would, those two would hit it off pretty well. Um, I would love to see you know Korra being told about the multiverse, being told of you know Muni and Earth and what's all that all like. And it would just be a lot of fun to see you know Korra, Star trying her best to mimic. Uh, Korra's bending skills like, through her wand. She's like she would just try to be like fire bending. Go, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. Also, it would be hilarious to see Mako and Marco meet. I would. Just, <laughs> that would just be perfect. Mako and Marco meeting and just be and <laughs> getting caught up in all of this, and um, Mako being like, so your best friend's a magical pr is a uh, super powerful princess who. Get you into trouble? Yeah. I've been there, bro. Because technically speaking, Korra is kind of a princess. She, A lot of people kind of overlook this, but technically speaking, Korra is a princess because her father is the chief of the Southern Water Tribe. So that makes her, by you know, by default, princess. So they're both... Yeah, just let, the, let your head wrap around that if you've never considered it. So yeah, these two princesses with a lot of power and the male sidekicks who play the safe kid. Yeah, Mako and Marco would just be like, yeah, did you date yours? No, but I think I'm going down... I think uh, I think that may happen in the future. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> what happened, What about you and Cora? You a thing? Or now she's dating my ex, my ex-girlfriend. You were that bad of a boyfriend that both your girlfriends turned gay for one another? Don't remind me. <laughs> Admit it. That was that's how the scene would play out between Mako and Marco when he when he discovers <laughs> when he discovers that Cor when he dated both Korra and Asami. And now they're they're together. I'd even love to see, um, especially Star hanging out with Iki. Oh man, those two would just be. <laughs> I think Marco would be like, no, 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 we're not doing this. No, no, no. <laughs> There's all I I can barely keep track of one of you. Um. I think it would just be a lot of fun to see, you know, Co you know, Star's reaction to the world around her of the four nations. I would just love to see her try to drive a Sodomobile or get into a mech suit and be like, Marco, it's like Gundams, only you die if you lose. <laughs> uh, you die in real life if you lose. Oh, man, that would be... That would be her. She would be getting one of those mech suits and being like, I am Iron Star. <sighs> <laughs> uh, but 
Um, I would just like uh, again. Cor- I would love to see just star, you know, Korra showing star around the rest of the four nations, like the Air Temple Island, uh, the Fire Nation, the the uh, the Spirit World, because Cor- I don't th- yeah, she's in, you know, stars encountered supernatural and magical beings before, so I think her going in- into the Spirit World would be something new, even though yeah, she's seen it before. Be like, oh, you guys actually have a Spirit World. We just have pixies. Sweet, <laughs> this is pretty boss. Yeah, I even love to see. Um, I would absolutely love to see Ma- uh, Marco and Asami get into a sparring match. That would be awesome. Seeing the two, uh, not you know, the two romantic interests uh, with no powers or abilities or equipment, you know, just using going into hand to hand combat. So yeah, admit it, you'd love to see Mako and As- Asami spar. <laughs> <laughs> Although admittedly, I think Asami might win. Then again, Mako, you know, Marco is. Um, Marco's pretty talented in his own right, so you never know. That might be the, you know, that could easily go into his favor as well. But I would, you know, it would be even better is like seeing, you know, uh, Star taking Korra and the rest of Team Avatar around the rest of the multiverse, you know, a rest of the other dimensions, like taking them the the Pixie dimension, or uh, excuse me, uh, or taking them to Muni the, itself, or even you know Earth. I'd love to see them go to Earth and be like, "Hey guys, yeah, these uh, you know this world's confusing, and there's something called an internet, but I, I think it has nothing to do with fishing nets." <laughs> oh, oh man, I can only imagine what kind of shenanigans they would get into if they went to Earth or Muni. Um, but no, I think what Cor, you know, Star could learn from Cora is you know showing that kind of patience. You know, I think Cora would see a lot of her younger self through Star. That kind of arrogance, that kind of headstrong nature, that that you know that there's so much energy and potential, but it's it feels kind of wasted because she's you know she acts first before thinking you know thinking things through. So Cora, I think Cora would like to sit Star down and just like to t- tell her you know. You know, sometimes this is going to bite, you know, that kind of personality is going to bite you in the ass. Trust me, I know. And I think Star would understand that to an extent, uh, because obviously she, her actions kind of got her, you know, what happened to Marco with his beard and then with Toffee and then even with the, with the uh, wand itself, you know, that in, her actions inevitably led to the wand getting cleaved. And I think, you know, Korra would kind of compare that to the time when she was poisoned by Zaheer. And they, you know, that would, you know, I think they would just have a lot to talk about because, again, I think Cora would be kind of like the, you know, mentoring her. In some cases, she would, you know, she would like, you know, she would like to help mentor um, Star and keep her from doing any more, ra- you know, rash actions that would, you know, inevitably get her in danger. You know, don't, you know, I think she would be like, look, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes, but you know, if you listen to me. You won't have to go through them. Just take, you know, just take one step at a time. Don't be as rash as I was, and um, you know, listen to your friend. You know, let your friends help you. And Star would be like, "No, I can take care of myself." And Cora would be like, "No, you need your friends uh, at your side, especially Marco, because I think you and him would make a cute couple." But I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, Cora would totally, you know, just be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be shipping Starco now." <laughs> Um, but no, I think, again, I think Cora would be like, she would, they would be friends, but if they kept being friends, I think Cora would be like the men, you know, the older men, like the older sister figure. That's how I kind of see it, is that they would start out friends, and eventually she, Cora would be the mentor slash older sister figure to Star. Whereas, I think, Ma- you know, either Mako or Asami would be the, you know, the role model for Marco. Probably more... I don't know about Marco, because I feel like uh, Marco would be kind of a... um, He doesn't like to be considered a role model, but I think... um, I would just love to see, like, you know, Asami and Marco, while they're sparring, just kind of talk about, oh, you know, Korra did this, or Star did that, and how do we, you know, compete with that when we have no power ourselves? So, all in all, this would be a lot... (laughs) These two would have a lot of fun. So... All in all, I think that, you know, there may be a lot of differences there, but I think there's some similarities for them to find some common ground on. And let's face it, the adventures Korra and Star would probably go on together, along with the rest of their friends, would be pretty awesome. (laughs) You gotta admit. So what do you guys think? What would Korra think of Star? 
Uh, just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.